Colin Jones, who is, of course, a legend among photographers, uh, mm. beginning with memorable pictures of the reality of dance at the Royal Ballet, where he was a dancer, moved on to wider fields, has been described as the George Orwell of British photography. I was so badly educated. When I left school, he said, you'd be lucky if you get a job as a road sweeper. They came to the school and did a pas de deux. So I got up there and tried to copy what they were doing. And this dancing teacher, she said to me afterwards, would you like to be a dancer? I said, yeah, why not? And that decision that day was what turned me into a ballet dancer. Because everything is, you know, it's musical. Everything is done on the beat. And if you know the music very, very well, you know what's going to happen next. I was pretty unmusical. And there was one difficult role they gave me and it was in the rake's progress. And so I go on when I think I had to go on. And the bloke behind me said, you've gone on too early. So I had to do this step backwards into the wings and then go off again. And I just came to a complete standstill. And I can remember the ballet master coming around and saying, that's the worst performance I've ever seen. They were so short of boys that I reckon they would have taken you in if you only had one leg. All the dancers, they all had cameras went on tour and were taking pictures of everywhere they went. So I thought I'd better do the same. It's then that I took up photography. The last performance I ever did was on stage with uh, Fontaine and Nuri. And then we went to the Philippines. Alabama, the race riots of 1963. I got to this motel. By the bed there was this machine and it would slowly rock you to sleep. And I couldn't stop it. I think it was still going when I woke up. And then straight off into the town with my gear. So when I got there, there were thousands of police. There was a cafe. It had a sign up. It was blacks are not welcome. If the weather's good and it's not raining, then there's a fair chance you're going to get a riot. And that was Bull Connor. He said, if you go across there, you join them, I take it that you'll be one of them. You know, you're likely to get shot. And that was out of his car, and he was sitting there with a double-barreled shotgun. And around his feet, I remember, there were hundreds of cartridge cases. Yes, I did. He said if Prince Philip wants any of my wives, he can come over here and have a good time. And there was the other island where they used to build model planes out of bamboo in the forest. Imitation jumbo jets. pilots are all armed to the teeth. When we took off, the plane just missed the tops of the rainforest and we looked down at the instrument panel and there were no instruments, nothing. The only other place where they fly wild like that is in Alaska. There were hundreds of prostitutes. We got involved with some missionaries they went in disguise. They were liberation theologists. Anyway, we all slept in this hut, even the nuns. 